Percy Jackson Season 1 Ending Explained Percy Jackson and the Olympians Season 1's ending wraps up the quest to find Zeus Master Bolt in a suitably climactic fashion, with several turns and twists in the story. The story reveals of Percy Jackson Episode 7 adequately set up the stakes of the finale episode, Percy will confront us in an attempt to secure both Zeus Master Bolt and Hades Helm of Darkness. In retrieving two of Percy Jackson's more powerful magical items, the titular demigod hopes to stop a war among the gods, make his father proud, and save his mother from the underworld. With Percy Jackson Season 1's ending then, these tantalizing plot points come to a head. With the first story of Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief coming to a close, attention will turn to updates surrounding Percy Jackson Season 2. First, though, Percy Jackson and the Olympians Season 1's ending offers plenty of food for thought, from the status of the Gods' War and Percy's relationships with the Olympians to the foreshadowing of future seasons via a handful of heartbreaking twists. The most prevalent question spinning out of Percy Jackson Season 1's ending is whether the titular character completes his quest. Percy Jackson and the Olympians Episode 7's ending teased a duel against us for the fate of the world, which Percy Jackson Episode 8 opens with. After drawing first blood against the God of War, Percy is given Hades' Helm of Darkness. After returning the helmet to Electo and ensuring Hades keeps his promise to return Sally, Percy makes his way to Mount Olympus at the top of the Empire State Building. Percy walks through the city of Olympus to the mountaintop, only to find Zeus sitting atop his throne. The King of the Gods is less than enthused to see Percy, still believing the son of Poseidon to be the cause of the war between the Olympians. That said, Percy returns the Master Bolt, and explains his theory that Kronos was behind the theft. This news means Zeus keeps Percy alive, meaning the hero completes his quest to find the Lightning Thief, return the Master Bolt, and keep his bargain with Hades by returning the Helm of Darkness. Despite returning the Master Bolt, Zeus intends to continue his war against Poseidon. Not only did Percy miss the deadline to return the Bolt, but Zeus' pride and arrogance overcame him in the Percy Jackson Season 1 finale, meaning the King of the Gods will not call off the war until he achieves victory over Poseidon. Naturally, this angers Percy, causing the demigod to berate Zeus for weakening the gods just as Kronos wants. In his anger, Zeus attempts to strike Percy down using the Master Bolt before Poseidon appears and surrenders, ending the war. Zeus is taken aback by Poseidon's surrender, with the god of the sea foregoing war in order to save his son. Like Percy, Poseidon understands that war between the godly brothers is futile should Kronos truly be planning to emerge from Tartarus. For this reason, and the well-being of Percy, Poseidon stands down and accepts a form of defeat at Zeus' hands. Percy Jackson's Season 1 Villain Reveal Explained, Why Luke Stole the Master Bolt and Helm Luke's deceit brings the prophecy to a tragic close. Although Oz and Kronos were confirmed as the masterminds behind the theft of Zeus' Master Bolt and Hades' Helm of Darkness, Percy Jackson's Season 1 ending has one more twist in store for the titular hero. After returning to camp, Percy travels to the woods with Luke to trap Clarice and bring her to justice as she theoretically aided her father, Oz, in stealing the gods' symbols of power. However, Percy deduces that Luke is in fact the lightning thief, stemming from his hatred of his father Hermes, the other gods, and the way they use demigods for their own personal gain. Luke reveals that he wishes to recruit Percy to Kronos' cause. The son of Hermes hates his father and the other Olympians, and wishes to aid Kronos' revival so that the Titans can usher in the Golden Age of Olympus. Before Percy can stop him, Luke uses his sword to open a portal and escapes Camp Half-Blood. This sets up Percy Jackson Season 2, as the second book in the series, Percy Jackson and the Sea of Monsters, features Luke's further attempts to revive Kronos.